Hey guys, so in this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're going to be switching out this fan right here on my Artillery 3D Sidewinder X1. In short, the problem with it is it sounds absolutely terrible. It's slowly been dying off on me, so I'm going to show you guys how to take care of this and also why I recommend while you're at it, you Put a little bit of thermal compound between the heat sink and the extruder body here. So to get things started we're going to need to remove the four screws that are holding the fan cover guard in place. And just like that, the fan falls off. Now do note, the heat sink here is held in with those same four screws, so just be mindful of that. Now, while you have the heat sink out, you're gonna wanna double check it is not full of dust and hair and whatever else. I mean, some of us live in houses that are a little dustier than others, where IMAT has carpet, so you're obviously gonna get more stuff flying up from that than somewhere that has, say, hardwood flooring or something like that. So let me go grab my thermal compound, let's put it on there and get the new fan installed. Okay, so I have found the thermal compound. Now the whole point behind thermal compound is it's assuming that this surface and that surface are not perfectly flat and they're not going to get perfect thermal contact between each other. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a small amount of thermal compound on the heat sink and when it presses up against the extruder body, it will help with thermal transfer. So let's uh, squeeze a little bit out here. So you can see we have a small amount of thermal compound on there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take um, one or two of the screws here just to help you know line this up for sticking it back on then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently press this guy up against there jiggle it a little bit just to help start to spread the compound then I will keep my hand on there and I'll grab our new fan. This one is a Wissen dual ball bearing 24 volt fan to replace the original. I am not sure if the original has dual ball bearings or not, but they're never a bad idea. So this is where it gets a little tricky, but we're just gonna keep this like that. And then we're just gonna kinda I feel for the opening. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Once you get one screw started, um, just twist it in there enough to hold it up, but no more than that. And then you can kind of just come along and do the whole process in reverse. Now when it comes to tightening down the screws, you want them to be snug so you get a good seal, but you definitely do not want to overdo it. You'll also notice that I'm doing it in a star pattern, so I'm going boom, 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 something like that. Um, I'm just getting the screws to snug in, so okay. That fan is on there good. Now let's change our position. We'll deal with plugging in the wire and I'll talk about a couple of solutions to the excess wire that's here. Okay guys, sorry if this scene is not the best. I literally cannot see anything on my phone as I'm laying on the floor here very awkwardly. But you'll see that there is the plug here for the thermistor 
this big old honking plug here for the heater and in the middle here is where the side cooling fan plugs in so it's pretty simple just take this guy you uh, feel around in the dark and then you find where it goes in just like that now I recommend don't do it in the position that I'm in okay so as you can see here we have all of this excess wire hanging down now obviously the original fan had a much shorter um, cable on it. Mine does not. Now, ideally, if you can, find a fan with a short cable. Most of them have long ones because that's what the application is for. So what I'm probably going to do, I mean, I could always splice this and solder it, but I don't expect everybody to know how to do that. What I'm probably going to do is just neatly bundle this up, and then I will stick it in between the metal frame and the extruder body. And I'll show you guys a photo of that when it is done. But that is how you go about replacing the fan on your Artillery 3D Sidewinder X1. Um, well, you could always go out and buy another one of the stock fans. I highly recommend spending the money and just getting a nice dual ball bearing fan. Got to remember, when this thing's moving back and forth, this fan's probably going to be getting a lot more abuse than it ever intended to just sitting there in a computer or something so do yourself a favor get yourself a nice fan it's worth it um, hope you guys found this useful and i'll see you here next time on make it with calvin <music>